Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games, talk game design, and we're back with more... Oxen Free! Ali Ali Oxen Free. Um, we're paused right now just because they're talking, so we can jump back into it. And then get quiet again. So, what happened? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Super weird. 10, mm, super weird. Ah. Oh. 5? Weird enough to remember, but... Not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous <laughs> life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but... You know, you could have, and you didn't, so thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, I agree. Mm. So, no, no, no. Now, I like that they kind of hold your response you until it's appropriate that, for your character to I intersect. Am... Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie town. No, never. Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. <laughs> Jonas is going to do it too. Right? Jonas? Mi comida, su comida? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. <laughs> okay. Are they pot brownies or are they like worse? Delicious. I. Could oh, be mushrooms. Oh, so rocks. oh. Leave, I don't really know. So you know to try well, tune in well, she said it looked like brownies, so but he said to cupcake towns. So maybe it's a pot cupcake. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Are we going in the caves? What's happening? How will we know when it's? You'll know. Trust me. What? So just pull out your radio. I don't know how. I think that's hold shift, right? Any day. Thank you. I don't know which channel I'm looking for. Well, he said you'll know. So it sounds like you're getting close to something. Maybe? I don't know. It is kind of hard to tell. Oh. Cool, some Morse code. Which I imagine if anything would be from what military base? Uh huh. Whoa! Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. It must be, uh, like. <laughs> My running theory has always been like traffic reports from another galaxy, but you know, <laughs> if you move around, it kind of changes too. I think, like. Over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. What if that actually was true and it just was traffic reports from another galaxy? That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> you think it would be a little disappointing, though? Be like, oh, that's actually all it was. All right, then. Sweet. Ooh. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're they fine where they are. <laughs> okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? <laughs> She's a monster. Five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. I wonder if whatever. the color coding means anything. Yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe the bluish colors are the nicer response, and the red ones or pinkish ones are the, like, sassy ones. Brownies are kicking in. Yeah, it must be pop brownies. Are you okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. So, she dated Dead Mike. But Weird. there's more beef than you that. Bring it on over. Weird. 
I like that they don't really say anything about the Morse code, too. It's just like, it's just there. I feel that's normal. Right? I know about that. But I feel like that's going to be important later on. But they're sort of trying to get the player, I think, in the same mindset of like, oh, it's just a thing that's there. All right. So do you think it's... Ooh. Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Huh. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with blood curdling. Yeah. <laughs> Same point that. got across. That. Oh. oh. What? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last... No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something <laughs> Like... What a famous filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Just in a little or circle. It kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a fresh water one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> cool pool. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. Whoa. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute. Jonas! Well, I am going oh, there to you go. first against here. Because I think... I think I mismeasured the magic. You're high. <laughs> you mean brown? I think you mean brown. <laughs> I think you mean... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. What if it closes, though? And Jonas is stuck in there by his, his lonesome. Shona <laughs> Fana. Forget it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Middle schoolers, am I right? So yeah. this is this is pretty cool. So do you think that the radio mechanic is a little cumbersome? Like, I don't know. Is it fun to kind of navigate through the dial until you find something? Or yeah. Just, yeah, I think it's kind of fun. Do you I mean, think it, it takes a little while? I wish it was a little lighter, like, mm, less like sticky. more like more sensitive. Yeah, yeah, more sensitive. Do you think that? Whoa! Well, I guess maybe that's just all speculation at this point, but it, I feel like design-wise, it would be clever to kind of hide more things inside that radio dial. Jonas! Yeah, that would Jonas. be cool. I was thinking, like, because they didn't play the school radio anymore, but I guess it might be too late for the school radio show to be on. Yeah, that or maybe you're too far away at this point since you're on the island. This is pretty cool. Right? Definitely has like a very explorative feel to it. I I get the feeling that it's basically linear, so I doubt we're going to find a lot of like little secrets. I think you just need to go down, yeah. But it still is pretty cool. I like the change of environment. And it's pretty too. It is pretty. So, so far, the game seems relatively linear, but I feel like that's only because we're still pretty early in the game. So, I I don't know. Do you I think... will say these controls aren't always the best. Yeah, it's what, space, shift, and then arrow keys to move? Um, is... Not shift for this. Shift is the radio. Oh, that's right. Controls Jonas, the map. Sorry. Will you move if you use WASD? I don't know. That might actually be a little easier because all these controls will be kind of right next to each other. Eh, I'm already over here. <laughs> I feel like that's sort of a standard too. If they expect you to use a mouse, it's like, even if you're on a desk, I feel like using arrow keys and a mouse are weird. Unless you're using like a left-handed mouse. But even as a left-handed person, I don't use a left-handed mouse. So those are weird. She's getting stuck. Uh, try moving to the right a little. Uh. Yeah, that's a little weird. Go down, girly. Uh, kind of getting it. 
This this area in general seems kind of laggy. I wonder if uh, uh, something's yeah. glitching. Can I just jump off? If only. Except that ball could actually injure you in real life. This is frustrating. Okay, so stuff that needed a little work. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> hmm. We'll tell you what. <laughs> we can end the episode here. <laughs> With me stuck on the wall. Yeah, we'll we'll get past this little glitch in the next episode. So, um, um question of the day? Yeah, question of the day. I guess it still is really early in the game, so it's hard to tell whether it's going to be linear or or if it's going to kind of branch out in a lot of different paths. Um, but that said, the game is very narrative focused. Um, so my question to you guys is, do you think that it should have branching paths, or do you think that the narrative qualities mean that it should have a, a mostly lin linear experience? Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, because, you know, at this point, it really could go either way still. So I'm curious to see what you guys think. And what this debris is. Oh, man. You'll find out next time. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to vote on what you want to see more of, whether it's Auction Free or one of the other games up there. And, uh, until then, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.